Good morning guys, today is Monday the 5th of September and right now I am at London St Pancras International train station because I'm headed off to Paris for a quick two day short trip. So I am actually going to Paris a bit later in the trip but I actually wanted to pop by Paris quickly because I want to, I, I wanted to get a Goyard bag. I needed to help get a Goyard bag and because we wanted to add like the initials and the painting um, to the actual bag that takes like two weeks to do um, so actually when I go back later towards the end of this month um, it was gonna be a bit too last minute to do everything so decided to kind of go pop by to Paris just for a quick trip do a bit of shopping I just kind of like want to get some stuff and just be able to shop and buy like just go shopping first before the end of the trip so right now I am at the um, train kind of departure area waiting for the 8 a.m. train to Paris gonna arrive in Paris around 11 ish gonna I'm just gonna go straight to the Goyard store and um, have a look and everything and just going to go on a short shopping trip and take you guys along so I actually want to go to an outlet store called La Valley it's about an hour train ride from Paris but again like I don't know why I maybe never heard of it or thought or researched about it before but this time I want to go have a look there's a lot of shops that are kind of on my list so excited to show you guys La Valley outlet and to see what goodies we can find of crazy pretty much got to the Goyard store the main flagship boutique and the queue was pretty long already it was like probably at least he was saying it's probably like one hour and a half to two hour wait um, but the gentleman standing outside the store I think he's kind of like uh, I'm not sure if it's a, uh, like security or something but he was basically telling us that um like what items he knew had were in stock or not um i'm looking for the artois the bigger one i can't remember if that's pm or mm yeah but pretty much he was like um there's no chance because it's already out of stock and they are only going to get extra deliveries probably on wednesday or friday if you're lucky i'm only here till tuesday so i will miss out um but I have to go to the Proton store, uh, Bear Houseman there, and have a look. That's the other store that they have. I actually saw that they have one opposite, but he said that's for like pets and animals, so clearly not. Um, so I'm gonna make my way to the other one and have a look. <music> to get in at the Goyard store at Pretoms. It was quite a long wait as well, like over an hour and a half-ish, but I did manage to get my bag, so we did have a little success there. After such a long day of queuing, I had a little nice dinner at a bistro near my hotel, and here I had French onion soup, steak tartare, which I love, 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 and some escargots. <music> Tuesday the 6th of September so I didn't manage to have time to go to La Valley yesterday uh, so I'm actually on my way there right now I've checked out I left my luggage in the hotel and I'll go get it later but right now I'm going to go to La Valley it's about an hour ride train from like kind of city central Paris um, and right now I'm just waiting for the Aria train to get me there and it will be a quick walk there so really excited to go check it out just arrived at the station which is Val de Europe and from here it is a little kind of 15 minute walk through this shopping center 
through this shopping center you will eventually get to the La Valley outlet. It is quite a walk but at least it's kind of indoors and there's lots of things to look at as well but essentially a lot of the people that kind of get off at this station are headed to La Valley so it is quite easy to navigate and just kind of follow the internal signs. The first shop I visited when I got to La Valley was Bottega Veneta and there were quite a few nice pieces but nothing that really took my breath away so I didn't get anything. Next I went to YSL and I loved the stuff. There was a lot of variety to choose from. On average I would say that the prices were maybe three to four hundred euros cheaper than the normal retail prices and they had quite a good variety of small leather goods. There were lots of colors to choose from so I did think this was definitely a shop worth checking out and I managed to pick up some pieces too. <music> Next up I headed off to Celine and I am a huge Celine fan. There were lots of really different odd pieces from collections all throughout the years. You had things from old Celine which was you know when Phoebe Filler was the designer and you had new pieces as well. It was a really really random collection of items but also quite cute because you could find like really old pieces. I personally didn't get anything here but it was actually really nice to just kind of wander in and look at the pieces from past collections and just reminiscence a bit. The next shop I visited was Ferragamo. There was quite a lot of variety here as well. I didn't purchase anything but it was nice to look at. The ties were in a good price range and there were quite a lot of different colours to choose from. I didn't purchase anything but I also thought that the shoe collection was quite good. They had like the classic styles, they had some more seasonal pieces. The colours were definitely more on the non-seasonal, non-classic kind. But I think definitely if you love shoes that pop, these are such a beautiful color and they were on average 200 euros cheaper. So definitely worth checking out if you're into shoes. After that, I headed over to Gucci and for Gucci, you had to kind of wait a bit unless you had an appointment. Luckily, I didn't have to wait too long. Pretty much I got there, they asked me to kind of just register and I waited for about 10-15 minutes and they buzzed me to come back and I came back and got my slot and came in. There was a lot happening at this Gucci store and it was a really, really big store. Prices were definitely cheaper than retail outlets and they had a good variety of scarves, small leather goods shoes as well so a lot of things that you can check out and definitely worth visiting the last shop that I visited before I left was Longchamp and it was quite a big store with again a lot of variety as well but not everything here was discounted I would say they had a mix of discounted items as well as like items you could also purchase full price in the metro or the normal kind of boutiques the discount wasn't too big either it would be maybe like 20 to 50 euros so not a huge amount but still a good deal and my last shop was Samsonite I managed to squeeze that in and I managed to take one home as well I needed some extra luggage to carry my stuff back so it was a win-win as well I didn't manage to see a lot of the other shops because I simply ran out of time for other shops like Christian Louboutin Fendi, Isabel Mahon, Sir Givenchy or Montclair. There was super like a lot of really big brand names that had outlets there. I simply just did not have enough time in I guess like the five or six hours that I was there. So maybe you do need two days to kind of visit La Valley. It's also right next to Disneyland so I guess if not everyone in your group is keen for shopping some can divide and conquer and head over to Disneyland. But overall I was quite impressed with this outlet. I've never been to Bista Village before which is the UK counterpart and La Valley is actually operated by the same people that run Bista Village. So I haven't been so I can't compare but I definitely thought that this outlet was worth checking out especially if you do like these big designer brands and I think you know if you're looking for like the kind of unique pieces as well that you will definitely find this stuff here.
Given that it's only about an hour train ride from central Paris, I do definitely think it is worth checking out, especially if you really want to shop till you drop. There's a lot of brand names out here, so hopefully you would find something that you like. But thank you guys for watching my little shopping vlog trip to Paris. I hope you've enjoyed. I really enjoyed my trip to La Valley. So if you do have any questions about anything, the shop, the outlets, the discounts, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will definitely try and answer to the best of my ability but thank you guys for watching and until next time we'll see you guys bye so casually keep diving into